away sat bear crafting and i thought making a project completely different to my norm and i thought why aren't i filming to show how to do it so some of it i haven't even got to the end but i have started it off so i wanted to share with you on how i make my project and what you need to make one if you decide to make one so what i'm making is a man's armchair caddy um, I'm making it for a very dear friend of mine and Chris's and um, I just thought why not film it um, a man's gifts and cards I'm sure you'll agree with me are so difficult to make for I find it incredibly difficult to even make a man's concept of a card or to make a gift for a man so this is an armchair caddy um, it's also a challenge that we're doing on our group at the moment where we've got to make something. There are links. We choose which project we want. Um, and it's a gentleman's challenge, that's what it's called. So I decided to make an armchair caddy or one of those links. And I'm scrolling through YouTube. And I said on the challenge, you can make any of the challenge, make it your own. So it's exactly what I've done. So... I've watched uh, various different inspiration and I thought well why don't I just sit down and see what I come up with if it's too short I can add fabric if it's too much I can always cut away so what I've decided to do is I bought two types of fabric I bought this fabric which was a pound for a meter oh, no, I was no way I was gonna say no to that and I also bought this one which has got a bit of a leaf trim to it so it's absolutely perfect for a man so these are the measurements that you will need to make it so you will need um two pieces now i'm doing it out of two pieces of fabric if you wanted to do it for the same obviously um you know if you want your the actual arm the actual cover for the armchair to be the same fabric you'd of uh, you'd have to calculate it all up i've done it separately because i wanted to give it a little bit of interest um because this is so busy i wanted to die it down as well so you will need this is how i've done it you'll need two pieces of the same fabric measuring at 12 and a half inches times 13 inches and these are my two pieces so i've chosen one and then there's the second one there um like I said, this is of the same fabric, so you'll need them. You'll need one piece of fabric, which will be your, um, won't be the middle, I'll explain all in a second. <laughs> so you'll need one piece of your different fabric, measuring at 20 inches times 13 and a half. So those are your main pieces for your front and your back of the make of the armchair so those are the put those pieces now to make the pockets because i want a bit of interest on my armchair i want it to hold um quite a lot and i know our dear friend he loves the tablet he's also got glasses he likes watching telly so i want to make it to hold those type of things so what i've done is i've used this fabric and i'll explain why this is your front and your back in a second but you will need one piece of fabric to measure 13 times 8 inches. Now this is going to be the fabric that will hold my tablet or will hold a magazine. If you were making it for a gentleman that holds a magazine. It's not actually going to go on this fabric. It will go on this one. So let me show you on this one because you'll see the imprint then. You'll see where I'm going with it. So this is what it this is what it looked like. So this is what one side of it looked like. So this is 13 times 8 inches. This is that one piece. Then you'll need a second piece. I'm going to unpin all this. One piece of the any fabric you want. You can do it the fabric that's contrasting, or you can do it the same as your magazine type tablet holder. So this piece, I've just folded it in half, but this piece measures 13 and a half inches times 12. Now I will put all the measurements in the description bar below. 
um you can also pause the video and rewind it if you want because after all we are on the land of youtube so that is all the pieces that you require and i'll also need a piece for the seam binding but i haven't got there yet and i haven't cut it out as of yet so um i don't know the measurements for that because i haven't got that far so this piece i'll start with the pocket so this is your main pocket this is going to hold your magazines, your tablet, anything that's quite big. This, you don't have to really do anything to. I'll explain all in a second. This one, however, um, fold in half. Now, I am going to do a bit of quilting on this. Um, just to give it some sort of, I don't know, some sort of interest to look at. So, I'm going to do some quilting on this. Um, what I'm going to do... Is get some out some I forgot what it's called so bear with me um no that's not it that's not it that's not it oh. now you can use fleece might use that actually you can use fleece um that's not what i was thinking of but you can use fleece because i'm going to be quilting mine and all i'm going to be doing is this is um just normal fleece as you would and i'm gonna just rest that on top once you've cut all your pieces, you don't need to be cutting again. Not unless you want to cut your edges down a bit shorter. And um, the other thing I also did while I'm pinning this all up is I also got Chris to uh, play about with it on the arm and what it would look like. And I pinned all the pockets in place. And I said, now tell me what it would look like on an arm. Is it? Would that be comfy to sit with? is it going to poke in your side you know and it did take two goes because the first go i did the uh, long piece quite long and he said that was too long i was like all right okay fair enough so this is my pocket that's going to hold my glasses my phone anything like that so all i'm going to do is my scissors my chair this i'm going to cut this down Like I say, I am gonna. You know what? I knew there was a reason why I didn't use this one. Cut it away. Don't need that. Might if you want to quilt everything then obviously you'll need to back everything with the other thing i'm going to back the front pocket i'm going to do some quilting on that and i'm actually going to quilt the main piece of fabric as well so all i'm doing is i'm roughly cutting them up using my blade to cut this one and then I'm going to spin it round and I'm just going to cut this edge and like I say men are quite difficult to buy for I always find it really difficult but the armchair caddy you can't go wrong making Okay, let's move that out of the way. Let me move these scissors up. Lunch. Right, okay, so that is your piece that's going to hold your phone, anything that's small. So what we need to do now is I'm going to unpin one side of this. I'm going to fold it in half, fabric facing fabric. Get rid of these pins. So the quilt is on the outside measure the now I know my fabric is square up my quilt may not be but I know my fabric is 
so I'm just going to play about until I get it right okay Square your lines up. Oh, wrong side first. There's that one there. And then there's these sides. But you could make this any size. This is just the size I'm choosing to make. Okay. So that is my pocket also sorted for me to sew. The next bit, which when I get to the sewing machine, I'll show you how to do. Right. So once you've cut your two pieces, these measure at 12 and a half times 13 inches. Sew them to the long piece that you've cut out in different fabric. So what it looked like, it looked like a table runner without the edges sewn. And this is going to be out front and out back. So all we do for that is I'm going to fold it completely in a half I've also rolled my um, seam allowance I've used a quarter of an inch seam allowance and I rolled that completely apart just to give me some room for when I'm pinning this because I don't want to be making a mistake I don't want all my hard work to go to waste so all I'm going to do is line my seam up and you can press I haven't pressed this so it might not look I haven't pressed it or I end it at the moment this is just my cutting stages okay once you've got all that I'm going to just stick one pin or maybe two in these sides because I don't want these to move and then this side this is going to come out front and not back remember me saying I'm actually going to cut now you can um, leave it on the fold if you want I sometimes prefer let me pull you up I sometimes prefer me cutting it so that um, I know I've got to go all the way around but you might want to leave it on the fold Again, totally your choice, and it's totally your choice, A, with what size you want to do, because there's so many different sizes. Come on. Okay, so there's my two sides done. So, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to unpin these pins. And because, like I say, I want a bit of a contrast to my um, armchair caddy, I'm going to flick one side of it the other way. Now, this will be obviously be shorter. Um, I'm not bothered by that because I can always cut this down. It's totally up to you whatever i'm gonna see what it looks like with what it is looking like at the moment if i think that it needs cutting down which it shouldn't be this much if it does um then i'll obviously cut it down but at the moment i think i like the idea of it being totally different and then like i said i'd rather have too much then too little so let me pin that in and I'm going to pin that in because now that's now on the seam so it's totally up to you whether you want to cut it down. I'm going to see 
how much it actually leaves me with. Now I'm going to cut mine down. My pockets will stay the same, but I'm going to cut mine down. That way then I know it has been cut. Probably will have to do the, uh, the undo these pins again. But um, to be honest, I found it a little bit potty because I bought this in a meter. Um, I was like, how the heck do I cut? Because I haven't got one of those big, huge mats. How do you cut it down from a meter without roughly cutting? Without, you know, my roughly cutting is not roughly cutting. My roughly cutting is just all over the shop. So I just thought, no. Um, best sort of leave it as it is. I'm going to pin two pins here and I'm going to quilt this um, this fabric. The only pin I, one I won't quilt is the, the pocket that's holding the tablet or the magazine because um, like I say I want it so that it's pins come out. I want it so that it's um, bit contrast going on. So we now have Okay, so I now have my main piece of fabric. So I now have my front and my back. Because um, when I undo this, there'll be one side will be without this fabric, on the other side will have this. That's what it'll look like on each side. So it's a sort of a reverse. Um, but I've done that with using two different types of patterns. I'm going to pin this because. I'm like I say, I'm gonna quilt this up. Um and I because I'm quilting it up, um I need to put some wadding in between. So I'm gonna leave this till last and then I'm gonna concentrate on my pockets. So this is my this is my main piece of fabric. This is what's gonna hold the pockets. So I'm gonna put that to one side, I'm gonna flip back and forth. And I'm then now gonna concentrate on this. And I'm also, like I say, I won't quilt this section because this is going to be quilted and you're only going to see, two, I've measured two inches. From this pocket that's going to hold the glasses, the remote control, the everything else, it's two inches from the top of the pocket that's going to hold the tablet, the magazine and whatever else. But I've measured two inches, so I'm not going to quilt that piece. However, I am going to quilt this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a tube. So basically sew a quarter of an seam allowance from there to there as a tube, as it is, and then pull it the other way around. And I will be back with you once I've done that. Okay, so I'm back. I have um, just sewed it down here and I've also cut it with my pinking shears. I'm about to take the pins out. I've left the sides open because, like I say, we'll sew in a tube um, and I'm just going to pull it the other way. Pull it all the way out, including your fleece in, and you should have something that looks a bit like this. So now would be a good time to um, iron it. If you haven't already, I am. Um, I'm gonna just go with the flow, and I'll iron it once I've quilted it. I think. Okay, so my seam is there. I rolled the seam over because this is the inside of the pocket, um, and I don't want my seam to show on the top because um, I want it to be hidden. So I just want it to. Sh 
would just be hidden over the edge so this is how i'm going to quilt it so i've left the sides open because the sides have got to be open for when the whole thing comes together just putting this down all flat where they should be because i've used wadding inside it's deciding to stretch because of the machine because i'm sewing it it's deciding to stretch so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to place a couple of pins once you've got it completely the way you want it and i will have in a second there um stick a couple of pins in and i'm just going to quilt it now i'm not going to go completely uh, nuts and do that pin so i can just drag it around um, I'm not going to go completely nuts, but I am going to do like spirals, and um, so that's all quilted on the top. Not just, not I me, mean, just not the fact that it's going to lay flat. That's not the only reason why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I want a bit of interest. Because it's for a man, I can't be adding pink lace. <laughs> or oh, like, um, I can't make it vintage or shabby chic. So, however. I can go crazy on my machine with it. So I'm just laying this board in flat because he doesn't want to go flat. Make sure you've got the same amount of width on your hem if you're rolling it over like I. Make sure it's the same width going all the way across. So mine is. And I'm going to pin all that in place. And then I'm going to take my machine before I start quilting it and I'm going to do a top stitch just where that fold mark is and I'm just going to top stitch in a complete line goes cl close to the edge as I possibly can in a complete line and then I'm going to go right across so this line is going to get hidden um, in the inside the pocket you won't see it and then I'll quilt all this and I'll make it look all pretty using my cotton other than lace so I will be back um, in a couple of seconds when I've top stitched this. I'm going to go that way and top stitch it that way because I've got white cotton on the bottom and brown cotton on the top. Um, but I will change, I think, and put red at the bottom because this has got some red in and have brown as my top cotton and red as my bottom. And I'm going to top stitch it from the outside. So you will see the stitch on the outside. It's meant to, you're meant to. And then I'm going to go crazy then with my quilting and just, yeah, you could do free motion on it. You could do absolutely anything. But I'm going to go like in um, a spiral. So that's the kind of thing I'm going to do. So I will be back once I've top stitched it for you to see beforehand. And then I'm going to quilt it and then come back to you. So I will see you in a second. So this is what it looks like um, with a top stitch of cotton. And I did red underneath so you wouldn't see it. So it looks as if I've just folded it and hemmed it. But it won't look like that once I've uh, quilted it. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, I also, as a guideline, I used one of the, you know, where the line you've got like measurement lines on your sewing machine i used one of them to keep my stitch really nice and straight so all i'm going to do now is a straight stitch but i'm just going to go zigzaggy zagazi and make it as flat as i can with my um stitches and do some quilting on it so i'll be back in a stew call so i thought i'd show you about halfway in through quilting and i thought i'd show you where i've got up to and then you're going to see me sew on the machine so this is just out of my head i'm not following any particular pattern i'm just going out of my head and can you see it already going flat so it got, it's working both both sides that's exactly what i wanted to do um so let's get sewing
I've done all the cutting and I've somehow managed to do a circle here. So what I'm planning on doing, and I've kind of thought, is I'm going to use different thread and I'm going to draw out a pattern. Because this has got leaf shapes, I think I might do a bit of... leaves inside the circle and so that it doesn't look like a flower I'll do the veins as well otherwise it's gonna look a bit girly all right and then I'm gonna just do Gonna do the vein. I'm gonna do this in different thread. Okay. So I'm gonna do this in different thread, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write his name here but I won't do that on film because it's a bit personal and um, I want him to be a bit surprised I know he knows I do YouTube but I don't want him in case he watches my video I don't want it to spoil the surprise um, I've got a ton of threads I've got to cut off and I will be back with you when I've done all this in different colour I might do it in green then it will be leaves um, but I will be back shortly and I'll see you in a second so as you've just seen you saw me do some cut in there um, I decided to go around the circle I don't know how I managed to do a circle for, um, on my machine because if I was to try and draw that that would never look like a circle I managed to go around that in a uh, dark green I did it first light and it didn't look right and then what I did in the inside of the circle like I said um, when I was drawing up those uh, leaves to me it looked like a, a flower inside a circle and I thought mm. so what I did I stuck with two leaves and then I just done a little pattern inside and then I used my one of my stitches on the edge and I put some seam binding on the top and that is now my front pocket all done my next pocket is this pocket and all I want to do to this is I'm going to fold that over like so and I'm going to put some seam binding on top so that matches that and then and then once I've done the seam binding um, oh actually should I do it first I think I'll do this first no forget what I've just said uh, this pocket is going to hold my magazine or tablet or whatever it is and this one this one is going to hold my glasses or whatever I want it to hold. So I'm going to pop a pair of pins in just I'm going to line the edges up. I'm not worried about these edges at the moment because that's going to be hidden by some seam binding later on. And once I got it all where I want it to be, like I said, I'm not bothered by this section. Um, I am going to line it, however with some of this i think i got some um already cut there i have oh, so i'm just gonna line it line it line it line it sew it and then obviously turn it inside out and line it um i shouldn't do this because i've just spent a good two three hours carefully cutting everything out and then oh well and then all I'm going to do is just follow that top line and cut this in between okay so cut that away so I have my lining now for this pocket and like you say 
with this one I will sew it all the way round um, so it as is because I'm not like I say the edges I'm not that bothered they're gonna be hidden at the minute let me take these pins out leave that alone for a second I'm gonna sew this all the way around um, I'm gonna do a straight stitch quarter of a seam allowance so I'm going to get my foot back on and um, I will be back then with um, no, so no, let me start again so I'm going to sew this all the way around with a straight stitch use a quarter of a seam allowance get some of this fabric um, do, I've done a two inch seam binding on this and it worked perfectly so that's what I'm going to do on this um, once all that is finished, um, I will see you in, I might have to do this video in parts, um, only because I don't want it to be too long. So I will see you in part two, where um, I'll show you how I'm going to make this into pockets, and how I'm going to attach it all together. So I'll see you in part two. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoy this video, by the way. Um, I'm really enjoying doing something different, and it's going to look absolutely it's totally different to my norm but um, I do want it to look manly if that's such a word I don't want it to look girly so hopefully I've done that justice um, and like I say watch the next part and I'll see you in part two thank you for watching thank you for all um, your love and support by the way um, I do read your messages and your comments um, so thank you ever so much and um, yeah I will love and leave you all and I'll see you in part two Bye for now.